Hello everybody, in this video I want to introduce something called Radical Geometry. Uh, it doesn't really have a title, but uh, basically what everything we're going to be, oops, everything we're going to be dealing with, um, uh, radical axis, uh, radical center, it has the word radical in it, so I'm just using the term radical geometry. But we're going to learn about all those terms, because uh, they're all obviously related. So if we have a two circles, uh, or, or let, let's let's start simple. So we have one circle, right? Uh, let's say its center is there, and this is circle A. Uh, in my video on IMO 2009, I showed what the power of a point was, and the power of a point was def basically uh, a a sort of a function uh, in, the, in the lightest sense, a function that relied on uh, some point x and some circle uh, we'll call it O. And it it computed, or what it, what it computed was a number, and specifically a real number. So it, it, it's taking a point and a circle and you get, um, you get a real number out of it. Uh, so this is what the power of a point is. And uh, I only dealt with sort of what was when when the point was inside the circle, um, and that's the case where you have uh, the point is partitioning a chord, and you look at the product of the two partitions. There's also the case where the point is outside the circle. Um, specifically, there's there's really two main cases. Uh, one where you create a secant. So it, or it cuts through the circle, and one where you have a tangent. And secant, tangent, we, we know those terms from trigonometry. Uh, so, so we have a tangent here, and then uh, we have two intersections here. And so for a point outside the circle, the power is equal to the product of this length, and this length, so the outside length times the total length, and that is actually equal to if we have this tangent length, this tangent length squared, actually. So uh, if I pull, make some some labels here, so if we call this point B, this point C, this point D, then I'm claiming that PB times PC is equal to PD squared. And this is really just some similar similar triangle geometry. Um, if, if you just draw in the radii here and you, know, you do some stuff. And, and, and so this power is also always equal. So if I draw in another secant um, and I compute this length times this length, I'm going to get the same number. Right, so it doesn't matter where I do it, obviously, because this is a function, so we're only going to get one output. And it only depends on a point and a circle, so no matter where we draw our line, we're going to get something constant. And that constant, I also showed, was dependent on the radius of the circle and the distance of the point to the radius. So actually, this this is equal to well, I guess I'll say xo uh, negative xo squared, so the neg negative of the distance plus the radius of r, or, or the radius of the circle squared. So that is what the power of a point is. So now let's say we have two circles, and we want to know when it, if I if I choose some point right I want to know if and when this point has the same power with respect to both circles specifically I want to find the locus of all points that have the same power with respect to the to both of the circles and this is actually uh, one, one of the cases where you can use 
Cartesian coordinates uh, actually to to prove the claim. But it it turns out that if I draw this line which connects the two circles, then what we'll call the radical axis, which is the line containing all points, well, you know, we haven't proved that it's a line, but you can. I, I won't show the, the technicalities, but the line containing all points that has the same power to both of the circles is a line that is perpendicular to the line connecting their centers. So we have that here. And we don't really know where the line will be. Uh, so it won't be like in the in the middle here, um, not in all cases, only if the radii were equal. So it sort of depends on the radii, but there are some cases in which we will know where this radical axis is. If, if the two circles intersect like so, then their radical axis is the line which goes through the two intersection points. And we can check that because if we, ha if we have a point on a circle and we're defining the power of a point to be this, r squared minus xo squared, if, if x is on our circle, then xo is just equal to the radius. So this is zero. So the power of a point on the circle is zero. So the points that are on both circles are very clearly just zero for both circles. And and since we know the general the general result is that it's a line, so we know it will be the line going through those two points because two points determine a line. Well, that's all good. Uh, and another case is for tangent circles, which uh, I doubt I'll be able to draw. I mean, I can try. It, it'll mess it up. But let's assume it was tangent. Well, well, really, we can do almost some some geometric. That that was bad. Uh, some some geometric calculus, uh, in a vague sense, and say that at the limit. As, as these two circles become tangent, we can see that this line is is going to be their tangent, their common tangent, uh, common tangent. Geez. Um. So so we know so we know the radical axis for intersecting circles and and tangent circles uh, are are pretty nice for us to find. So now. Well, so we well, we went from one circle to, to two circles. What if we have three circles? Um, what here? I'm I'm just gonna go to a new page. I feel like I'm running out of space here. Um, let's say we have one circle here, another circle here, and another one here. Then well, what can we say? Well. Let's draw in. So, so we have three. We have three circles here. Let's do some some combinatorics. We have three circles. How many pairs of them are there? There's three pairs because there. And and this is this is cleverly done by exclusion. Uh, there are three ways to not pick a circle. So there's three ways to pick two circles. Anyway, if I draw in the radical axes. That's not on the circle. Hold on. If I draw in their radical axes, then I will get, surprisingly, that they all, all three of these lines intersect here. Let's say at a point K. I'll, 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 common e, I'll commonly use K for the radical. This is what we call the radical center. When we have three circles, the radical center is the intersection of all three of the radical axes. And this works for any three radical, or, or for any three circles, really. And the proof is quite simple, right? If we have 
if we have, um, let's say, the intersection of just two of the. So let's call this circle W1, this is W2, and this is W3. This radical axis here is the, the, the line containing points where the power with for W1 is equal to the power of W3. And over here, this radical axis is the line containing points where the power of W1 is equal to the power of W2. So if I intersect those lines, then I'll get some point, and, and I'll just say some point K, right? It lies on two of the lines. And I know that K satisfies P of W1 equals P of W3, and P of W1 equals P of W2. So by transitive property, right? Since it's, sat it's satisfying both of these conditions at once, then we know that P of W2, I can just substitute in, P of W2 is equal to P of W3. But that means that K also lies on the radical axis of W2 and W3, which means that all three of the lines intersect at one point. Um, so anyway, I, th I think that's it for this video. Uh, there's there's definitely more to talk about, but um, I think for what what I'm going to be using in in future problems on Olympiad geometry, I don't think I'll be using any other properties. But you can read up on this if you want. Um, the only book I know that that contains this topic is Evan Chen's book on uh, Euclidean geometry and math Olympiads, but uh, this might also be in, I mean, this probably is featured in, in other college-level uh, geometry textbooks. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video where I use these, the, the radical axis to solve some problems. Thanks, and I'll see you then.